for work, for play, for function, and for fashion. These boots are made to bring the style of the West to your wardrobe. But can the spirit of the frontier rustle up returns in your portfolio? One of the hottest retail stocks is a chain that many of you might not even be familiar with. It's called Boot Barn, Symbol Boot, B-O-O-T, the lifestyle chain devoted to Western and work-related footwear, apparel, and accessories. I think of it as the place where you buy your cowboy boots when you're getting ready to be the man who shot Liberty Valance. But as much as I, I might joke about this company being like the costume department for a great John Ford movie, the fact is business is booming. Bootborn stock has rallied more than 250% over the past 12 months, including a 79% gain just year to date. Monster move. These boots were not, were not made for walking. They're made for running. When the company reported a month ago, they really did shoot the lights out. Bootborn reported it earned 15 cents a share, excluding a tax benefit when Wall Street was only looking for 12. Higher than expected revenues. Explosive same-store sales growth up 11.6%. They got 233 stores across 31 states, and they plan on adding 23 more locations in the current 2019 fiscal year. No wonder. One of the stocks been roaring. This is a terrific growth story. Uh, don't take it from me. Let's check in with This is such an exciting story. Jim Conroy. He's the president and CEO of Boot Barn to get a better sense of the company's prospects. Mr. Conroy, welcome to Mad Money. Good Thank to see you, sir. Jim, have you. a seat. Thank you for All having right, me. All right, I'm going to quote, uh, because I'm, you know I'm excited. I'm going to quote, Something from my friend Matthew Boss, J.P. Morgan. Right. Boot is firing on all cylinders with brick and mortar comps up double digits. Ecom growing 20%. Margin math compelling given the combination of full price selling. So you are expanding gross margins at the same time as blowing out the numbers. There are very few companies that are doing it. How are you capable of doing that? Look, Boot Barn is an incredible uh, company with a credible proposition. Uh, what most people don't realize that 85% of our sales are conducted at full price. So we're actually pulling back on promotions. Pulling back. Pulling back on Everyone promotions. Everyone else is promoting, right. and you're pulling back. Right. Now, it's, it's a, a fortunate place for us to be. It's a, it's a huge industry. It's a $20 billion market. It's been hidden in plain sight for decades, and we now have the opportunity to just continue to expand across the country. Now, one of the things that you do in your handout is just amazing. You have, you know, most people have in their handout, it's got their numbers. and whatever. You have a picture of an F-150. Mm -hmm. You have a picture of, uh, of NASCAR. Right. You've got thousands of rodeos, and you have country music popularity. That's you. That's Boot Barn, yes. I actually grew up in New York, so I had to huh? learn that. That's right. That's right. I grew up on the, Maybe west, on the, west, the side. west side of New York. That's right. <laughs> Very good. But when you get out and you, and you fly from here to L.A. and you look out the window for five and a half hours of that six-hour flight, you're looking down at customers that drive a pickup truck, right? right. It's the most right. popular vehicle in the U.S. And they're listening to country music. And that's, you know, they wear boots, hats, workwear, and blue jeans every day of their life. This isn't a, a costume at all for them. This is what they wear. But it's really important, I think, to point out because you're affiliated with a great country music star, woman. Women love this. That's right. That's right. Well, it's a store for the whole family, right? We sell men's and ladies, work and Western. And we've had some really nice growth in, in all parts of the business recently. So it's been, uh, it's been great to see broad-based growth. Okay. Now, I've been thinking, I, honestly, I, I think that you've got the, uh, one of those huge roadmaps where I think that there's a lot more states you could be in and a lot more places. That's right. 19 this year. I mean, do you think you can continue that growth? Absolutely. Absolutely. So we've always said we've, we'd grow 10% new units right. a year, and we're kind of on pace to do that. Uh, this year we said we'd grow 23 stores. We feel good about that number. But we only have 233 stores, and we think we can double the store count, and that's just in the U.S., now, one, ooh, let's talk about that, because I think this works in, in Paris. I think it works in London. No, come on, you know that. It does. That's what they love. Anybody who loves a John Ford movie, right, you're talking about these great countries in Europe, they would love it. China would love it. That's right, that's right. I think the Americana feeling in China yes. someday could work. Uh, right now, internationally, our biggest country is Australia. Uh, but from a store growth perspective, we'll get there someday. For, for the foreseeable future, we're going to look at Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, and, and you know, the contiguous 48 states. And well, kind of well, keep having it been from Pennsylvania, I tell you, there's a lot of people who you know, candidly believe it's country, and it's not of part course. of, the, of right. the rest. Now, let me, let me ask you, uh, I, I've got to ask about the 30%. I know it's not as important as the, as cost, as the uh, beautiful dress, dress wear, but uh, we are big believers in workwear. We've been recommending Cintas over and over again. We should be including you, too, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So work has been perennially strong for us. Uh, in the most recent quarter, we had a tremendous growth in work boots and on, in work apparel. And I think that uh, partly unemployment is so low and uh, right. part, partly the, the growth in the Texas market, given that oil has recovered. So we're selling a lot of flame-resistant product and, and product that guys need to wear to work on an oil rig. Right. 
We've been on oil rigs. We uh, we totally identify with that. Now, uh, you got a you're, you're kind of non you're insulated from Amazon, aren't you? We are to some degree. Uh, you know, Amazon's an incredible competitor, but we're a store purchase first and foremost, right? The our customers have the capability now to buy from us online or Amazon online, right. and our stores business is much more you know much bigger and much right. more vibrant than and the online business. And for us, um, I think when people want to be buy a, a you know, $300 Western boot, they want to make sure it fits. Um, so they come to the store and they want that expertise. They want the authority of a lifestyle brand. Right. And uh, if they do go online, we actually, for our product, many of our vendors sell more product to us than they do to Amazon. So we're actually bigger than Amazon in, in many of uh, cases. And you also come up uh, on search in Google. And that's you right. dominate search in Google, which I right. must be a great way to get customers. It is. You know, that's one opportunity for us to go out and get right. net new customers. And uh, while we are excited to be in 31 states, we still have plenty of other places where we don't yet have a store. But people are getting familiar with the Boot Barn brand. All right. I, I would be doing you a disservice if I did not let you talk about some of the merchandise here. So why don't you show it sure, off? Sure, absolutely. We, I, I love all boots equickly. And uh, when I look at it, you know, there's for something. But they're your children. That's right. For a show like this, you want to bring kind of exciting and, and uh, you know, right, of course, you know, the, the sizzle. But what, what actually pays the bills are, are brown distressed leather boots and, and work boots that, right. you know, guys work in these in either one of these. OK. And they wear through them and they need to come back and get another pair. So I think oftentimes, particularly in New York, people think, well, this is a cycle that comes and goes. Right, right. That, that's not our core customer. Our core customer is wearing a brown distressed leather boot and a pair of jeans, and when they wear through them, they come back to us, and they know we'll have their size. And some of it is private label, where I That's think the right. margins must be terrific, That's right? right? That's right. That's right. The private brand uh, opportunity for us is great. We have five brands. Two of them are in, are in the top five in the, in the company. Two of our biggest uh, uh, five brands oh, are private money. brands. And uh, just on Wednesday of this week, we launched a, a new brand with uh, Miranda Lambert called right. Idlewind. Everybody in my team lo loves, loves great, it. Great, great. Okay, uh, also, don't want to be remiss, apparel, belts. Sure. No, belts is a big business for us. And, you know, for our stores, we, you know, denim is one of the biggest categories outside of boots, of course. And right. when somebody uh, buys a, a pair of jeans, we absolutely want our store associates to, to then get a belt in their hand. And, and as such, we actually brought you a belt that I think is in keeping with the uh, mantra of your show, there's always a, a bull market somewhere. And Jim, you are too <laughs> kind. I'm wearing this tonight. We're going out in Summit, New Jersey. They release <laughs> things. But, you know, I put these on, I put this on, I'm completely in costume. Maybe we can show this. You know, this is the type of thing that it's genuine TV when you do these That's things. That's right. Well, Jim, you got a great story. And Thank it's going to be a great story for many, many years. Thank Congratulations you on what you put together. That's Jim Conroy, who's president and CEO of Boot Barn, Simple Boot. Mad Bunny's back after the break. Thanks very much. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.